All right, so I want you to think about this Latin proverb that I heard. It says, all that I own, I carry with me. I thought it was a really good um, analogy for just thinking about God's word and especially the beginning of a new year. And I just want to challenge you all um, and myself, of course, included all of us. Let's, let's think about that. All that I own, I carry with me. So let's think about how much of God's word do we have stored up inside of us. Um, and you know, like there's all these things always vying for our attention and things that seem like really good excuses or reasons like, you know, I don't have time to get into God's word because I'm trying to be a good mom. I'm trying to be a good te teacher. I'm trying to be a good, you know, doctor, this, that, whatever, um, wife, you know, all these different roles that we have. But ultimately when everything's stripped away, what's, you know, all that you own, you carry with you. What, when all that stuff is gone, what's really left? What do you have inside of you? And, you know, those things that seem like, again, sometimes really good excuses or reasons are their lies. They're lies to keep us from being, um, you know, who God has called us to be. Because we can't be a good wife, a good mother, a good teacher, a good whatever our job is, if we're not first submitted to him and to his word and if we're not in it and thinking about it and storing it up and um, letting it transform us change us each and every day and we will never walk in victory in our life we'll be defeated we'll go around you know thinking that this is just the way we have to live on earth like we can't really have it that good until we get to heaven and that's not true that's not true at all because Jesus died and he paid the price for us to walk in victory and you know we're going to go through trials and troubles but we don't go through them defeated if we walk by faith and not by sight if we know what his word says so i challenge you today to think about what of God's word do you have stored up inside of you? When you get squeezed, when you get pressed, what comes out? What have you stored up inside? Because the Holy Spirit can't bring to your remembrance, right? Like the word says that he can bring to our remembrance, you know, his, the words, um, God's word. But he can't do that if we haven't first made the effort to make it a part of our day to store up his words inside of us. So let's choose to hide his words in our heart like the word says. Let's choose to attend to his words, to um, turn our ears to his instruction. Let's not, uh, you know, let it depart from our eyes, the word says. Let's keep it in front of us and, um, and listen to it and read it and think about it constantly. Let's choose to make our time with him the most important and precious time of our day because that is all that matters. Nothing else matters. Nothing. And that's the only lasting thing. So let's choose to do that. Let's choose to be kingdom minded this year, not to be thinking about things that are temporal. Let's be driven by the things that are lasting and, um, and let's let him change us and let's walk in that victory that he has for us so that we can help others see what life in Jesus is really about. So I encourage you all to do that.